everyone! Welcome back to the Road to Street Fighter 6. So, we've covered, in my eyes, all of Street Fighter 2 for now. We might touch, I mean, because, like, here's the thing, Th these were all the main Street Fighter 2s. There's more Street Fighter 2s. There's more. This is, like, half of them. Now, that said, I think we'll do spinoffs and stuff after. For now, we're going to focus on the mainline stuff. We're moving on to Street Fighter Alpha Warrior's Dreams, which is a great, great title. For one, game difficulty, put that down. Put that down. Auto block. Free select. If I feel like it, I'll put it on. Um, Game speed, two. Game difficulty, one. Timer. Speed, that should be fine. Damage level. These are good dip switches, though. Love me a good dip switch. Give me some info. Story-wise, the Alpha games take place between the first Street Fighter and Street Fighter 2 series. See the story section for that. All the uh, characters and stage are completely redone, as is the music and sound. The Alpha series is new beast all around. It also brings the fighter, uh, Street Fighter series together with its cousin with Final Fight, introducing characters from the game, including Guy and Saddam. Um, Street Fighter Alpha further refines the super combo system, which we'll actually get to use this time. Uh, seen in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, partitioning the combo meter into rat thirds. Okay. As in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the combo meter fills as the player lands moves, but now based on how many tiers they can perform level 1, 2, and 3, the number of kicks or punches determines the level. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Another new option is the alpha counters. Uh, so alpha counters uh, use one super combo gauge. Chain combos, known as alpha combos, can be performed by interrupting one basic move into another of greater or equal strength. So you can go light, light, medium, medium, heavy, heavy, otherwise known as the magic series. Air blocking. Finally. I love it. We also have fall breaking. That's good. Otherwise known as tech rolling. Street Fighter Alpha Soul pairs fight against seven randomly selected opponents and the final opponent, which changes depending on the character. In addition, there are three secret ones that appear on these super secret, uh, certain conditions, Akuma, M. Bison, and Dan. I will be getting Dan. I did read how to do that. Alpha also introduced an experimental feature, the secret two versus one dramatic battle in which two players as Ken and Ryu fight as CPU and Bison was inspired by the final battle in Street Fighter 2, the animated movie. I'm not doing that one. I'm not doing that one because I'm, I'm alone. Uh, known as Zero in Japan, Alpha was the first release on the CPS board, however, due to its success, the CPS 2 version was created. Interesting. In the Japanese version, during the dramatic battle instrumental arrangement of the movie's battle theme, it Itoshi Sato, Setsuna Sato, Kokoro Zuyasu Sato plays. In overseas, Bison's regular theme plays. Continue with the animated film references in, Guy, in Ryu and Guy's stage as a poster for the animated movie. Right after defeating an opponent, as the announcer says, KO, there's a small time where your character can move and make an attack. In previous games, they were frozen. All right, you can do stuff there. So, perform the same winning speech five times for five consecutive battles. We can do that, because I know how to do that there. Reach the final boss, having gotten ten super finishers. Oh, man. There's also, you can do fight against him in round one. So... After, choose a combination of punch, 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 punch with any of the four directions. Choosing the characters, play dramatic battle. Yeah, so we're not going to worry about that. I might do I might do the um, Akuma in round one after, but we'll see. We'll see here. Uh, for now, let us double check. We're good. Okay. Let us hop in. Here we are. I love the new anime style so much. It's so much better. Okay. Oh, a big Z for Alpha, obviously. Okay. Let's throw in that quarter. Which button? There we go. Alright, so we got Ryu, Tuners, Charlie, Ken, Adon, Saddam, Birdie, Guy, Rose, and Sagat. I'm gonna be Rose. Why not? And we're gonna put her to... Honestly, let's just go manual for now. Alright. God, this sound system is so good. Alright. So we got Soul Spark. We got the reflector. Come on. There. Okay, that, that absorbed it. I'm gonna try and... Come on. Okay, 
shoot me. I want to try it. Okay. Oh, this remix is pretty nice, actually. Okay, that hits also. Oh, we shot it there. Cool. Super missed. Very cool. Okay. Okay. No, we're fine. That's not good. So we can't lose a round, I'll say. Cheese? That's funny. Winning by chip gives you a cheese icon? That's hilarious. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm... I'm getting the feel. It has a very different feel for sure, right? Oh! This, I love that one there. That's good to know. We got our, our, uh, our, our Genmu Zero or whatever. Okay, we do have a Shoryuken technique. Okay, okay. Gotta know about that. Okay, I gotta do... So I gotta remember, all punches hold up. Okay. I gonna hit? Nope, because that's a sure you can version. Okay. Cool, I keep whiffing that. Okay. All buttons holding up. Okay. So I need to do the same one five times. Power is nothing without skill. I gotta do that five times. Okay. Charlie. Or Nash, depending on... Depending on... Well, his, his name is now Charlie Nash. They eggman him. Right? Combine those names. I'm gonna pop a save here. Just be careful. Because I don't want to lose a round. And let's see. Do, does she have any um, other moves here that I haven't done yet? Soul Spark is half circle. Okay, Soul Throw is Shoryuken. Soul Reflect is back. Okay. I was wondering why it wasn't working. As I kind of wanted to. Nice. Okay, so she, she does have a regular sort of air throw. Okay. Oh, that was, yeah, that was a tech roll. Okay, all right, all right. Not bad. Testing out with her. Okay. Oh, that's the taunt button. Okay, so I got I got to practice if if he's going to be jumping at me, right? Like that. Oh, that's the good stuff. Okay, holding up. So she's absolutely based on Lisa Lisa. Like, that's 100% known, right? Yes, that's what we got. We got powers, nothing without skill. Good stuff. God, this is just feeling so much better. USA East. What is that? My location select for where I'm playing? Like, is am I online? That'd be right, because it's like you have to choose and they never have Canada. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of a slower version. Dang, bad timing. Okay, whoop. That's actually pretty good for getting out of the corner too, huh? So I've heard that there's a weird sort of CPU thing where sometimes they will use the same super move like three times in a row, and that is just a quirk of how the CPU is in this game. Cool. That just straight up doesn't work if you're... Cool. 
don't even use it in the corner. So how do I do her her super soul spark then? That's what I was looking for. Or a soul throw. Oh, it's double quarter circle bat. Wait, because it's or a soul spark. Yeah. Got to go double back. Soul illusion. Okay. Okay. All right. Lasuk. Oh, because I was thrown. That's cute. Okay. Overall, I much prefer how this feels. And it is interesting just how there were some people who didn't like kind of how it felt at first, right? When this first came out, I, I, I heard about, you know, and that's kind of the thing with all Street Fighters is when it first comes out, you have people that, whoop, you have people that don't really like how it feels compared to how it used to, right? There we go. Holding up. Oh no, I still need to win again. It's fine. Try to go for the grab. Man, air blocking is one of the big things that I'm so happy is in. Like, this era of fighting games was where it became really fun. I much prefer this here. Okay, there we go. Holding up. Oh, that's pretty fancy. Power is nothing without skill. That's how you know we're doing it right. Buddy. Hello, hello. Back from Street Fighter 1, where he had a cold. Hence why he was looking a bit, looking a bit like that. And also, hey, we're in the calls. It is so funny how Capcom put so many JoJo references in their sort of, you know, early Street Fighter. And then they, then they made, you know, what some people view as the best, you know, JoJo game. Woo! Surprise, that worked. I know some people don't like chubby, chubby birdie. He doesn't bother me. There we go. No, oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay. I will say both. Normally, I'd be like, man, I, you know, the, I, I usually prefer either the, the master or the student character, right? With, 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 you know, someone like Rose here. And I gotta say, both Rose and Minat are two characters that I simultaneously like. Like, like, they're, they're different enough that I like them both, you know? I, Minat has to come back, though. We, I love Minat. Power is nothing without skill. All right, Saddam time, or I, I think he has a different name in Japanese. Oh, his name in Japanese is, I think, just Katana. But to fix it to match with Final Fight, where he comes from, is, you know, they, they switched his name here, too. He's literally a weeaboo. Like, that's his whole character. His Japanese is hyper broken. He's an American weeaboo. And I think that's hilarious and a really good character archetype concept. Like, him... Him and, um, uh, D uh, Geese Howard would be, like, best of friends. See, that's what I like about this system here. Also, super KO. Very nice. So if I press more buttons, I do more levels. That's cool. That's cool, actually. Okay. If I'm correct, I think Saddam even has a different moveset in later Street, f in, in like Alpha. Once we get into the, the isms there, my man gets different moves there. Look how good that is, man. Okay, gotta hold up. Okay. All right. Power's nothing without skill. Is that five in a row now? Next up is Adon, back from Street Fighter 1. Okay, maybe he comes in at the end instead, we'll see. 
All right, Adon. I don't like Adon. I think Adon is super lame. Uh, Adon has his... Oh, never mind. Here we are. Here comes a new challenger. Sick. It's Dan time. So Dan was a secret character brought in because Capcom realized that um, the art of fighting was totally a ripoff of Street Fighter. And, well, because literally the same people went to work on it. So they put him in looking like Robert Garcia with the moves of Ryo. Literally just to be a butt monkey to get points on. I mean, look at that. Hey, his theme though? Jam. I love Dan's theme. Dan's theme is so good. It's actually one of my favorite Street Fighter songs. Look at that. I guess we can now go a different direction. Double per- double perfect on the Dan. Look at that bonus! So many points! Oh, I got the same one even with putting in a different combo, huh? We're back to eight on? Okay. Just a brief- a brief Dan interlude. It- I mean, it's cool they're bringing in Street Fighter 1 characters. I think that's pretty cool. But at the same time... You know, Starscream, Starscream here, who, that's all I hear in his voice. He's just like, Jaguar kick! Jaguar kick! Right? Yeah, pop that. So does that reset me? Can I, like, do, do a different combo? Like, can I use that to return to neutral? Because if so, that's incredible. Right? Jaguar kick! I know he's going for it. That was a super version there. Oh. It is a hard counter, though. Huh? Like, my man does no idea what to do versus the, the air grab. Okay. Powers nothing without skill. God, it's so nice to go to a game and just not worry about the uh, computers being cheating. Right? Like, look at this. I'm having a good time. It's great. Also, it's Sagat time. Hi, Sagat. What's up, dude? We're gonna fight you now. Okay. gonna go tiger 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 okay that's the multi-hit that, that we saw later for sure okay that just whiffed i mean here's the thing i could reflect your stuff for big for big stuff okay cool that was not good that was not good it's fine. We can lose rounds. We can't lose matches if we want to get some of those secret bosses there. Okay, so I gotta try and do my... My proper light, medium, heavy there, right? I'm kind of going lights to heavies. I thought he was gonna go for the jump. I'll say, make, making the projectile be double back is so great for not having to worry about accidentally hitting something else, right? That's nice. That's really nice, actually. Okay. I should try and pop a level two. Okay. That's what I wanted there. Ooh, that's a okay. So they're they're more than just more damage. They're different animations too, huh? Okay. No. I alpha countered it too. Okay. You know what? I'm not gonna say John's. 
I'm not going to say John's, but I literally threw that in the hole in the last round. I was wiping my eye. I'm doing it right now. Oh, allergies. Am I right? Horf. Okay. It's fine. Load back in. Here we are. Okay. Like, just, just in general, this feels more like what I associate with Street Fighter. Again, not that Street Fighter 2 people are wrong. It's just that, you know, given the choice, this to me is way more Street Fighter. Whoa, to you too. See, and because rounds are so fast, like this, I'm not I'm not gonna pop a mid-round, right? Well, maybe until we get to some stupid broken stuff, which could still happen. Like, I guess, you know, because every, every Street Fighter, every time it goes to a new numbered entry... Ooh, wow. Every time it goes to a new numbered entry, it is a case of... It is a new game, right? It is... It's 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 not... It's not a, an update. I, try, I tried to go for the level 3, and I didn't press enough buttons. Okay. My eye still hurts. <sighs> Bison. Now, here's the thing. Just because we're getting the Alpha 1 story, I think the Alpha story you get in Street Fighter V, you've abused your powers for far too long. The one you get is random. I knew you could have come sooner or later. Or I knew you'd come. Let's, let's finish this. You do not deserve those gifts. The Day of Reckoning is here. Stop making speeches and fight. We're just in a random, like, Russian train yard, it looks like. What a strange place for a thing. Okay. So this bison is a whole different beast from what I know. Right? Like, this This is closer to the bison of um, Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, that's just where his sprites literally come from. Right? Also, he has a projectile now. Okay, not fast enough. Get up. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. No! So close! Dang it. Dang it. He got me. That's fine. Again, it being when you die by chip damage, it's cheese is so funny. I love that. That said, this is definitely bison still. I've fought enough bisons to know how to say bye, son. Oh, man. That pun is making me die. Ooh, yeah, he's still a boss. Yeah, he's still a boss, all right. So let's load that save so that we don't have to worry about losing our round and losing our points, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, the, the tech throw. Dang it. Yeah, and he knew what he was doing. Oh man. Oh we're oh we're going in. This this is now where the game says, oh, what's that? You had a pretty good time because the, the arcade operator put the dip switches to easy? Sorry, mate. Time to make your life harder. Oh, the schnans. Yo, that was pretty cool, though. You can't deny. That was pretty good. All right, I'm going to pop, pop, uh, pop in here. I'll say right here because his bison is it's a little toughy. All right. Woo, okay. Oh, oh, he do be, he do be hitting hard. I guess I can lose a round here, but that's fine. Load right here. Okay, we got the grab. He really got out of there fast, though. 
I wonder if there's air throws actually for if, if it's universal at least. Ooh, that chip damage. Okay, we we can hold on to our meter and hop on in. Okay. Muruiwa. Well, we got some damage in. See, I knew he was going to go for that. It was just a question of what the timing was going to be. Dang. All right. All right. Oh, we're really going in. Oh, this is it's tricky. And yet, it's taken me a third of the time as normal to get here. Dang, that timing. Dang, that timing. No. Ooh, whoo, this is quite the spice. Oh, I, I love I love dying via chip. Yeah, like that. Yeah, shout out to the absolute Dragon Ball Z sound effect they use, though. You hear that, right? That's a straight up DBZ sound. Much like Bison of yore, jumping medium kick seems to be his undoing. Especially if I can go. Oh, come on, I pressed the input there. He was super not vulnerable there. I might as well, if I use up my meter, there's no point to go into another round, right? It's just how it is. I hate, I hate the fact that the timing on that is so... I mean, it's actually for the best that it takes so long, right? Ooh! You can see when he's going for a projectile, though. Like, it's pretty obvious. Okay. Alright, we got meter. I should maybe save up for, for that big ol' level 3, maybe? We can try that. Oh, he, see, and, and and now that he knows I got the reflector, he's like baiting out other stuff, right? Like, like he he absolutely knows what he's doing. What was that break, sir? Well, how did you break like that? All right, I'm just gonna cut ahead till I get it. Oh my goodness, I did it. Oh boy. Not as hard as Bison has been before. But man, it's difficult. Uh, how do you like my soul power now? The soul power of Rose is the one thing that can defeat Bison Psycho Power. With her last bit of soul power, Rose defeats Bison. I have done what I was sent to do. I feel as if I may have used up all. Exhausted and near death, Rose hears what sounds like a heartbeat. Was it Bison? That's it? Number one, baby! Look at her. Alright. Wasn't there supposed to be a thing where if you beat it without... Wasn't there supposed to be an extra ending thing if you beat it without losing... Wait, I thought I was beat it without using a... Select a character and do not lose a single match. No, you can lose at least one, at most one round as long as you win the match and do not continue. I'm pretty sure I did that. 
What's the extra ending slash credits then? What, what 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 did I miss? Special ending credits. Okay, what what did I miss? That's Street Fighter 2 arcade. That's not what I'm looking for. Street Fighter. I guess I should put in Alpha. Ending credits? Is it different or is it the same? I'm just quickly googling it. That's Alpha 2. That's the wrong one. Street Fighter Alpha credits. Let's see. Oh, it's just it's just Bison and all the characters in front of the thing. Okay, that's not that's not nothing to worry about then. Okay, sounds good. Then uh, let's move on over to Street Fighter Five. All right, here we are with Street Fighter Alpha. Note, there's a lot of characters here. Not all of them are in Alpha because we'll get to them later. But we're checking out Rose, who yeah, just I I I really like Lo Rose's default design. It looks really good. Look how good her every color looks. That looks that looks like her palette in, like that looks more like Street Fighter Alpha. Like not the hair, but the but the clothing. Uh, story is it's all right. It's a fortune teller gown. Okay, battle outfit. I'm not the biggest fan. Nostalgia, that's good. This, see, this one's great because it's a Lisa Lisa reference. Swimsuit, it's nice. The pattern is actually really nice. Ad style is just weird to think about. Tracksuit, she, she, she kind of rocks a tracksuit. Oh my god, I forgot she has a Ruby Heart costume. Oh my god, I gotta play as Ruby Heart. Alright, uh, Soul Satellite is amazing. And let's just stick with Soul Dimension. So she has a weird gimmick here. Yeah, like we're fighting Kareen here. and We haven't got to Kareen yet. Who is incredible. I love her. She's so good. Alright. So yeah, she has a gimmick, if I'm correct, with her V skill. Okay. Oh, that's new. Whoa. Okay, Soul Spark. I love the fact that it's an anchor. It's a spectral anchor. She's so she she doesn't jump up anymore. She now does that. No, actually now I'm feeling it. This is slower than Street Fighter Alpha. Interesting. Interesting. What's her uh? What's her her costume change? Let's see here. I can't tell if it's anything. Yeah, I like her little spiral strike there. Okay. So yeah, Soul Satellite is fun because it just gives you stuff there. What's her super? Her super here is... Uh, Fate Spark. Oh, that sounds pretty good to me. Alright. Nice. Is it going to do the cutscene? Probably not, actually. Yeah, we didn't get the whole cutscene. Yeah, it's like it's like the, the chain. Oh, it's so good. Right, I, for, I, I thought that she had her, her gimmick, but I guess because we switched her V-Skill, probably not. When I see you possess great power, you must learn to wield it. Uh, let's go against uh, Charlie. He doesn't have a nostalgia costume, right? Because he's kind of a whole different character. Alright, let's see. Never mind, I was super wrong. I, I compl- No, right, because for him it's his story costume, right? It's not a nostalgia. Okay, Round right. Okay. Man, you're kind of making noises. We'll get to Charlie. Charlie is arguably the main character of Street Fighter Alpha. And it is just a case of, you know, I didn't want to get into his story just yet. Alright. Wait, did she take off her her eye patch when I did the costume? No. Okay. I was I was like I was like, wait, did she have the eye patch before? I couldn't really tell. Take it. 
Rose feels really good in this game, actually. Okay, let's see the, the cinematic now. There we go. So yeah, the whole thing about the soul satellite is you pop it and it gives you a little buddy that flies around and it can hit. And it's really good for that. Um, obviously, I love the fact that it clips right through her hat. Um, oh, that's cool. Your first sacrifice for body and soul is not up to me to stop you. Um, the cool thing, of course, is like, what was I even going to say? Frick, I don't know. I'm just enjoying it. I'm just, I'm just hanging out, yo. There's so many characters. All right. I don't know if I like how they represented her alpha outfit here. It looks slightly off. I think it's the material. The material looks different, right? So it is funny that, of course, you know, Rose was put in as as a, hey, Street Fighter Six is taking too long and we want to, you know, make a new season just to tide people over, right? And that's different than what we, like, we wouldn't have gotten her if Street Fighter Six came out. I think it's for the best. All right. Wonder if she has a launcher of some sort. Whoa, that's cool. That's super sick. Takes forever to come out. Well, at least we pop that. Cinematic. We gotta make sure to, to go to an alpha stage, although I don't think there's too many for us to go through. But, because, <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to, trying to... Oh, right, what I was gonna say, these are real cards you can buy. You can buy these, and they, they came out beforehand. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Ken, why not? Go for the classic. All right. The Kanzuki Estate is such a good level. I'm very... Like, I know there's a lot of Kareen in Street Fighter V. Like, a lot to the point where a lot of people didn't think there'd be this much of her. I like the fact that she's there. Also, I mean, look, there's Maya Faye over to the side. Look, it's literally her. It's not. But it looks like her. Just, just, just having Kareen as this, like, Ojo-sama who has ninjas... It's so good. She's literally Luvia from Fate. Like, nearly 100%. So we don't have the reflector anymore. Maybe that's one of the skills and I just wasn't using it, right? Like I switched over, right? Also, I'm not using Soul Spark, right? Because we have it, right? Yeah, comes out real slow. Okay, so if you pop one of those bombs out, they do send them away, huh? The X version. She's quite floaty, I'll say. Right? But that's kind of her game plan. Right? That's kind of how she plays. Okay, what's, what's her V-trigger even? Oh, we teleport. Okay. Sure. All right. That could be fun. I mean, that, that fits, that fits, you know, as, as a good counterpart to Bison. I think that fits. Man... Ruby Heart is officially a Street Fighter V character, and that's weird. She got added to the, the wiki as a Street Fighter V character. Oh, let's go with Cammy, why not? It's just a strange idea that it's like, uh, what, what, what series should we put her in? Darkstalkers? No. She's officially a Street Fighter V rep. Sure. Okay. I can't believe it took until, like, very recently to get Doll Cammy as a costume. You'd think that'd be one of the first Round things one. they did, right? But maybe we were all worried that they were going to put in DiCaprio instead, right? I gotta, I gotta try and, 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 and do some of that soul punishment there. Okay. 
What's the EX version like? Oh, it's instant. That's pretty cool to know, actually. Okay, I'm really enjoying Rose. Full disclosure, I barely touched her, because I'm like, like, I mean, I like Rose, but I've never, like, really liked playing her. But she's actually really fun in this. Is that a launcher? Not really. Oh, come on, that should work. Oh, wait, I wonder if we could do that into a, a, a grab there. Weird angles on it, actually. Nice. Sick. That led to a whole wall bounce and everything. You win. Love these cards. Fix your eyes on the past and miss your future. Perhaps you knew that already. Okay. Buddy, here we go. Birdie's alpha costume is so funny because they can't really hide much of his gut, so they just do their best. They do their best. Round one. All right. I mean, I like the shades. I appreciate the shades, and the fact that I think you can turn off the shades, too, if you want. It's it's one of those costume options there, which I really hope is just customization and not something you need to, like, put codes for in 6. I've talked about that already, but I still agree that it's like, I, th I think we should just, just let us put on the cool stuff. Okay, I'm just experimenting, just playing around. I do love how they can turn off her thing until it's needed, right? Like, only when she needs the chain. Okay, you block that. And I love how they, they even turn different colors, right? Like, that's cool. I love it. She's really well done in this. In fact, I'd say all the the Season 5 characters for Street Fighter V are incredibly done. To the point where some of them have way more effort than everyone else in the cast. Gluttony harms the body and you don't need to be a fortune teller. Ooh, dang. Oh, we gotta go re- right? We gotta go poster boy. We haven't fought Balrog. He's not in this alpha that we played. Because Alpha 3 Max has many characters. And so we're gonna be like, you know playing with all those old characters later but for now we're playing with you know the characters that we could fight in alpha one before we move Round on one. Fight. Ooh, she has a slide very nice she has so many command normals too it feels compared to some right I want, to, I want to see if I could do the launch there, actually. Okay. okay. So yeah, if you get hit, you lose your little bubbles, though, right? So I wonder if I can, like, teleport mid-combo to, like, cross him up? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh, that was a waste. Wow, that goes quite long, huh? Wonder if it homes the soul satellite or if it just goes forward. Oh, cool. Your soul satellite can get you stuck in the throw, right? You try and throw and it's there, there and hit. Good to know, good to know. From now on, I'm just picking fun costumes, right? That's kind of what I'm doing. Ooh. I mean, we... I, oh, I didn't do the Akuma code. No, you know what? There was no way after we... How we how tough Bison was, there was no way. Well, well, well maybe we're not worried about that. I could do the Akuma code, but I would lose, right? 
Ah, uh, we can try. We'll go back after. We'll go back after and try it. All right? Surprised we're not in the field stage, because that is an alpha stage, right? Round one. Also surprising he's not labeled as, like, the secret boss here. He's just a regular opponent there. Okay, just keep up that pressure. There we go. Hit him right on the noggin. You <laughs> see, I can even tatsu him. You should try to learn to use your power. All right. Round two. Fight. Okay. I was expecting a jump. My man still has low HP, at least. Okay, that hit. Yep. It's your destiny. Soul power's nature. Fate or a spark! Just a big ol' freezer beam. He hates it. You must purify your soul. So one thing I love about the Street Fighter V DLC cast, especially with season five, almost every single character has super extended anim oh it's G. Uh super extended animations for after their attacks that you just don't see normally. You don't see them because of the fact that, like, you, when would you ever press a button and not touch anything? I think the first video game character that really made me notice that was uh, Phoenix Wright in Marvel vs. Capcom. It's like, you press a button, and then you're like, he does a whole thing. He does a whole thing. And you wouldn't notice unless you went into play as him. And just pressed a button and then let him go. Alright, my man scarred up. Yeah, she just... Does she just not have her reflector anymore? Soul Spark, Soul Punish, Soul Bind, Soul Spiral. Soul... Ooh. Oh. So in V-Trigger 1, we have Teleport. We have other stuff. Okay. V-System. V-Skill 1. We're not in V-Skill 1. We're in V-Skill 2. That's why. Super art. K. Okay. Look at that range. That deceptive range. Right? Alright. Oh, that does lead to some schmixins. Okay. Interesting, because I was like, oh, you can use it in the air, and the answer is yes, and it just pops you up there. There's crazy combos you can learn if you, you know, learn how to use the use use the character, right? And that's kind of not what I'm here for. Oh, is that going to hit? Yes. Nice. Nice to see some angles on a stage you might not normally. Do that really fast now. They do that like, like I tried to do that in Alpha, and it was like, nah, you can only do a couple at a time. But here it's like, nah, just Soul Spark, Soul Spark. It's crazy, actually. Who we got? Oh, Viper. She's not even playable. I think she'll be back. I feel like they'll bring her back for Street Fighter Six. They set her up here with some stuff in one of the story modes, or I think two of them even and then never did anything with her. She was always rumored, like from the start to the end, she was rumored to be a character in, you know, Street Fighter V and you know, we never got her. I mean, in my eyes, we got better characters. I don't love Sea Viper, um, but hey, she's a Marvel character, so that's kind of cool. You know, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. I feel like she's gonna get a thing. And this is, I guess, close to the the stage there, right? The, the, um, the train yard. All right. 
Okay. Just need one more good hit. Like that. My man was getting up. You should try to learn to use your power a little better. Alright. Hmm. See, it's not, it's not, it's, it's, a, it's, that used to be a super if I'm correct. So, you know, being able to hit that there was really good. That's gonna miss. Oh, wait, is that a, is that a launcher on crush counter? Can I use that and then do the, I wonder if that works on crush counter, then you can then do that into her air grab. Neat. Okay. So again, I don't know if this is going to be her alpha one ending or if it's going to be another later one. I can see it. I see your future ends here and now. So it's the alpha one or is it going to be more? Let's see. What are we going to get? Oh, dang. With Bison defeated, Rose... Oh, yeah, no, this is her alpha one. Rose manages to contain his evil psycho power. However, her tarot cards foretell the dictator's eventual return. The fight is far from over. Also, there's... Rose hints that she knows the plot of Street Fighter, like, later on. I forgot that there's hints that she's in a time loop. Also, dang, though. Yeah, she kind of rocks that outfit. Thank you for playing. She kind of rocks that one. Okay, let's let's go back and let's give let's give Akuma a try. Okay, I need to bring up the uh, the cheat here. Alpha one fight Akuma round one. Let's see here. Secrets. Uh, fight Akuma on stage one. Okay, here we go. So let's go to back to the game. This switcher is really nice, actually. It's really nice. So you need to highlight any character in the boost select screen. What does that mean, the boost select screen? Am I looking at the right thing? Highlight any character down, start, and me double medium, which would be those two. What does boost select screen mean? Okay, let's see here. Let's 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 read what it says because it was in the it was in the cheats, right? Offline, arcade. Okay, so let's go because it was it was in here, right? Um, fight Akuma. After selecting your character, press and hold medium punch, medium kick, and start. Not a direction. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's pop in that. Okay. I'm gonna pop up. I'm gonna pop a save here. So medium punch, medium kick, and start. Okay. So is 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 my start still? Did I switch it still to? It's still L1. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. I do it right? <gasps> yes! Yo! I am power made flesh! Feel how weak you truly are! Yo, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. How powerful is it gonna be? Is it gonna destroy me? Like, instantly? Oh, baby! Okay. Oh, boy. I tried to reflect back up into him. Oh man, that range though. You lose. Okay. So you only have 10 auto throws? Do you see that? Wait, level one max. Are you serious that you only have like one level to it? 
Okay, well that sucks for easy operation then. Why would I ever do that? Dang. All right. That's the end. I'm not, I'm not, I can't beat him. There's no way. That's fine. Game over. Try again. And then it just kills you. It's just over. Okay, that's fine. I'm not worrying about that. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time for not Alpha 2. You heard me right. Something else. We'll see you then for that. Ciao.